Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th of the July League Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Word subsets. Hmm, cool. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Man, I am out of shape mentally. I think I reset that. But yeah, one thing I've been doing, just I've, and I've been spamming this as well, but uh, I've been doing an extra palm every day. So if you want to, if you feel like these palms are too easy, you know, do an extra palm with me. Some of them are, some of those palms are easy too. But um, for me, it's just about doing a new palm. And for example, I probably, already, yeah, I've already done a lot of these palms. So I'm trying to do one that I haven't seen before, just for a little bit more extra practice, if you will. Um, I don't remember these palms though. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, don't, you know, maybe on a subconscious level. Anyway, today's problem is 916, word subset. You're given two string arrays, words one and words two. B is a subset of string A if every word in, every letter in B occurs in, okay. So, so we want to see if words one, uh, every string in B, our uh, words have multiple words, okay. So basically, we want to see for words two, if they say E and O, then uh, Facebook has E and O, Google has E and O, and Leaker has E and O. Okay. Um, I could return the thing in any order. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's... Wait. Uh, okay, so that means that... Well, I, I don't know that we need to do anything that, op uh, that you know, optimal. But let's start with something more naive first, right? Um, and just write our skeleton n is 10 to the fifth so I, so we cannot do a you know n times f type thing because that'll be too slow so let's let's think about this a little bit um every letter and this is a, a subset is a little bit of a phrasing uh all strings and word ones are unique okay and what's two what is what's two Oh, they only gave examples of one letter, which is kind of a crappy example, to be honest, because, you know, just explain it. But this is a subset of warrior, but not of world. Okay, so you can have multiple letters on word two. Okay. Um, I think, the, so the first thing that we can do, for example, is that for each word in words one, we go, okay, is this word universal? And the way that this is universal is by like, you know, word two, maybe in words two, and then you do that, that, that. And again, of course, this is going to be too slow because this is N times M or however you want to say it. Um, but however you want to say it, the way you say it is that this is too slow. Can I do a little bit of a filter? I, I was, mm, I mean, I think there are things that, oh, oh, wait, actually. So the length of these things are 10, right? What does that mean? Uh, mm, I, w I mean, that allows us to make one optimization, right? Which is that... Um, does that have to be in the same order? This, this is not the same order thing. Okay. So, which means that, for example... Yeah, um... Okay, that's good, because then now we can normalize the string a little bit, if nothing else. Um, um, the timing is a little bit tight, because I was going to do something like 2 to the 10, because there are only 10 characters. You can pre-process everything, you know, 2 to the 10 kind of way, each, each, uh, each letter, you know, possible and not possible. Um, of course, that's going to be 2 to the 10 is uh, 1,000, so that's... A thousand times ten to the fourth is going to be a little bit slow. Um, ten to the seven is quite honestly in, uh, but then you're going to put in a hash table, and that hash table, you know, is all of one. It's it's a it it it's an all of one that adds up. Because uh, <laughs> it probably is actually log n, but in any case, so okay. Mm, so th those are the two things that I'm thinking of immediately. What can I do to filter it? All strings in words one is unique. Mm. Well, so we can pre. We definitely want to pre-process words too. I mean, and we can do very minimal things with respect to.
with respect to um, with respect to, let me think about this for a second hmm. I was thinking about something like yeah we definitely could to, could pre-process words too but I was just thinking maybe mm, hmm, this is a tricky one potentially wow these mediums are kind of tricky hmm, wonder maybe I'm just not thinking right uh, okay so the first thing that you would do is still like sort these or, or denormal or normalize these but then what do you do after normalizing them? Hmm. I mean, for these, with two words, it's kind of, you know, straightforward, okay, or whatever. But... Hmm. Mm, let's see. Damn it, sweet. A string A in words 1 is universal if for every string in B, B is a subset of A. No, that sounds right. I still think this, this wording is so awkward. But... Hmm. Twenty six. I mean, there's only limited by a thousand, so I guess that's okay. Oh wait, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, I, I think one thing I was trying to think is still thinking about this as independent. But the thing to do is that because it has to be for every set, not every string, that means that, um, yeah, that means, okay, I am just being dumb then. Um, that means that we can build out the every, uh, the, almost like the intersection of all the in words too. And the intersection of all the, oh, wow, I'm just really slow today. Um, yeah, and, and then the intersection of all the words in word words two is just going to be something like uh so then now we can no normal we can normalize the intersection of each word wow i'm uh, i'm like a little bit i i, I, I don't i wouldn't want to say i missed about this poem but i'm not thinking about this poem uh, at all right uh but yeah um because here the idea is that okay if it satisfied this word how does it satisfy each word right meaning that if we break it down it is, you know, if you want to say it in a sentence, maybe you might have something like, you now let's say words two, and this, these are terrible examples, but terrible uh, of like I don't know, ABC, uh, A, 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 D, E, or something like that. Well, in that case, you, to satisfy both this and this, you you can break it down saying that um, the the each word has to have one A, one B, one C, and and. 3a, 1d, 1e, right, and etc. Um, <clears throat> and of course, if you think about it, these things are and anyway. Like within the same word, you have these and operations, if you will, of requirements. And as a result, and some of these you can clearly merge because, for example, 3a, 1a, you know, uh, merges into 3a because the 3 supersedes it, a superset of it, if you will. Uh, 1 is a subset of the 3a, I guess. So, yeah. And then here, then we can do um, maybe something like, uh, uh, yeah, max is equal to collections dot counter. Oops. And then here for uh, k in c dot keys, c something like this, right? 
and that will give us the intersection of all the requirements that we actually want. I've been struggling a lot with reading lately. Hmm. And then now we, we can ask if this word is universal by just looking this up really quickly, which is, um, yeah. Uh, which is, okay, C is equal to da, 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 da. Again, I'm using calendar, but you can just put everything in the hash table is what this is. Or, uh, yeah, look up hash table, uh, character by character is what this is asking. So yeah, for K and C like keys. Um, yeah, okay, good is equal to true. Um, if C, da, 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 if this is, we ha if we have fewer characters, then we're no longer good. So good is you go to force break. If good, then we put in the answer uh, word. Word. Okay. Wow. Oh. Any more sleep? I took a nap earlier, but hmm, I don't know. I totally misread this problem. Uh, okay, this is very wrong. Oh. We need to compare it with max, not max. The keys in max, not C, because the answer, the reason why that was wrong is, uh, is because I'm sloppy. But also because it was missing keys that, um, for example, if an A is not in the word, it, we would not do this comparison, which is obviously wrong. Because, yeah, um, let's give it a submit. Cool, and a little bit faster this time. Hmm, wonder what what I changed. Uh, oh, hmm. I guess this is the same code. Oh, I mean, we do set intersection. Actually, I should have maybe done it that way too, but but maybe it's a little bit slower. I don't know. Um, this is going to be linear-ish time, linear space. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Linear time and alpha space. Um, linear because for every character in word one, we look at it once. Uh, well, this, this part is the word one, and this is part L2. Um, and... And this is at most O of L, which is the length of the word. And that's going to be O of, tw uh, well, in this case, it's 10. But even if you don't bound it, it's going to be at most 26 um, or whatever, because, you know, that's the size of the alphabet. So this is N plus L um, for that reason. Uh, but still, lin or, uh, eh, I guess N times L in, in um, yeah, maybe N times L. But linear in the size of the input because we look at each character exactly once really and then maybe a little bit an over alpha space for for the counters um and t technically we fold away afterwards so depending on how you want to define space because uh, obviously the way we actually code it is we allocate new memory but if you really want you could just you know do like a c dot reset or something or clear maybe i don't know something like that right um but it's fine or you could just do a for loop through it um cool that's all i have for this one let me know what you think Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Weekend is here. Hope, hope uh, you know, hope you enjoy it. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Remember, I have one more question, so wait for that one to come out. Bye-bye.